In this video, we're going to learn how to find the inverse of a matrix using row operations. An n by n square matrix A is invertible or non-singular if there exists an n by n matrix A prime such that A times A prime is equal to A prime times A, which is equal to I, the identity matrix. Note that all invertible matrices are square, but not all square matrices are invertible. Suppose we have matrix A, a 2 by 2 matrix, with row 1, 5, and 7, and the entries for row 2, 3, and 4. Let's use row operations to find the inverse. We'll begin by augmenting our matrix A with the identity matrix. Our goal will be to use row operations until we have the identity matrix on the left and our new inverse matrix A prime on the right. For our first row operation, let's let row 1 be rewritten as 1 fifth row 1. So then we have A equals 1 7 fifths 1 fifth and 0. Next, in row 2, we'll perform the operations negative 3 row 1 plus row 2. Row 2, negative 3 times row 1 plus row 2 will be stored in row 2. This gives us a new matrix, 1, 7 fifths, 1 fifth, 0, 0, negative 1 fifth, negative 3 fifths, 1. Continuing on, for our next row operation, we'll let row 2 equal negative 5 times row 2. This gives us 1, 7 fifths, 1 fifth, 0, 0, 1, 3, negative 5. For our final row operation, we will let row 1 be equal to negative 7 fifths, row 2, plus row 1. And this gives us one zero negative four seven zero one three negative five now we have the identity matrix on the left and our new matrix on the right which we'll call a prime This concludes our example for finding the inverse of a matrix using row operations. I hope you found it helpful, and we'll see you next time.